Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tommy the Lego Source, and welcome to some kind of hangout game. I'm here with Daffy Happy Jr. He says hi YouTube. I'm going to hide the chat because I just want to show some things. Dino DJ showed me this game because basically there's a YouTuber named Sean Morabito. I don't actually know them, but apparently they made this game as kind of a hangout for their fans, which I think is a very interesting thing. Maybe I should do this as well. Tell me if I should also make a hangout game. That would be pretty interesting. Just a game like this where I could just when I'm recording but I'm not actually playing when I'm talking I could be in there and you guys could join me that would be interesting I think um, anyway what I thought was interesting about this game is that it's one of very few games where you can actually use your um, gear so I actually have my gun my real gun my Tommy gun which I am not allowed to use in almost any game so I am now finally able to why is it not working maybe reload there we go. I have no sound because... Whoa! Wait, what? I can kill this guy? What? Here, let me reload. <laughs> I can kill this guy! What does that do? That does not do anything, does it? It just depletes his health. Okay. Weird. Anyway, um, I saw this thing in the store and apparently it is a book that you can get for free and I don't understand it because it was in the catalog for free all of a sudden. So I thought maybe we could read it. It is called The Adventures of Captain Underpants, now in full color. Wow. So this is Captain Underpants. He kind of has the shape of an egg or something. Chapter 1. George and Harold. Meet George Beard and Harold Hutchins. George is the kid on the left with the tie and the flat top. Up. Harold is the one on the right with the t-shirt and a bad haircut. <laughs> bad haircut, that's <laughs> not very nice. Remember that now. Okay, let's remember. This guy is George, this is Harold. George, Harold. Okay, I remember. Flower shop, pick your own roses. George and Harold were best friends. They had a lot in common. They lived right next door to each other and they were both in the same fourth grade class at, at Jerome Horwitz Elementary School. George and Harold were usually responsible kids. Whenever anything bad happened, George and Harold were usually responsible. <laughs> oh, I get it. So they were actually doing bad things. Like they, it said, pick your own roses, but they changed the sign. So it says, pick our noses. Oh, oh they're bad bad kids. But don't get the wrong idea about these two. George and Harold were actually very nice boys. No matter what everybody else thought, they were good, sweet and lovable. Well, okay, maybe they weren't so sweet and lovable, but they were good nonetheless. <laughs> okay, so they like to misbehave. It's just that George and Harold each had a silly streak, a mile long. Wh what? Usually that silly streak was hard to control. Sometimes it got them in trouble and once it got them into big trouble. But before I can tell you the story, I have to tell you this story. Chapter 2 Treehouse Comics Incorporated After a hard day of cracking jokes, pulling pranks and causing mayhem at school, George and Harold liked to rush to the old treehouse in George's backyard. Inside the treehouse were two big old fluffy chairs, a table, a cupboard crammed with junk food and a padlocked crate filled with pencils, pens and stacks and stacks of paper. Now Harold loved to draw and George loved to make up stories and together the two boys spent hours and hours writing and drawing their very own comic books. Over the years they had created hundreds of their own comics starring dozens of their own superheroes. First there was Dogman, then came Timmy the Talking Toilet and who could for and who could forget the amazing Cowl Lady? But the all-time greatest superhero they ever made up had to be the amazing Captain Underpants. George came up with the idea. Most superheroes look like they're flying around in their underwear, he said. Well, this guy actually is flying around in his underwear. The two boys laughed and laughed. Yeah, said Harold, we could fight with wedgie power. George and Harold spent entire afternoons writing and drawing the comic adventures of Captain Underpants. He was their coolest superhero ever. Luckily for the boys, the secretary at Jerome Horwitz Elementary School was much too busy to keep an eye on the copy machine. So whenever they got a chance, Harold and George would sneak into the office and run off several hundred copies of their latest Captain Underpants adventure. After school, they sold their homemade comics on the playground for 50 cents each oh that was it oh 
Okay. So the the story is not actually about Captain Underpants. This the story isn't actually about Captain Underpants. It's just a story about how two boys made up Captain Underpants and they, they sold the story for 50 cents each. That's the entire story. Oh. Well, that's disappointing. I thought it was actually going to be about Captain Underpants. I don't actually know this YouTuber. Someone just showed me this level. San Sean Morabito, apparently, is what he is called. But, but I really like the idea because Dino DJ actually said maybe you should make a hangout place as well. Wait, my Smurf took my skateboard. Get <laughs> my Smurf took my skateboard. No. There we go. I've got it. But that's pretty cool, so maybe I could make a level like this as well. Tell me if you guys would like it if I would make a level like this as well, with not much in it, but just like a, a hangout level for fans or for people who like to be in video. Then I could sometimes just be here and make a video with you guys, except not here, not actually here because this is someone else's level, but like make my own. Tell me if you guys would like that. And apart from that, I will see you guys tomorrow. Let me pick up the skateboard. Or I can stomp like a dinosaur on the skateboard. Don't forget to stomp like a dinosaur. Stomp. <laughs>